with just days before the DIA's landmark Van Gogh in America exhibit is set to close, there is an international battle brewing over one of the works on display and the tug of war over the painting heads now to federal court in Detroit. And that happens tomorrow morning. Yep, Mara McDonald live at the DIA tonight. And Mara, the allegation is coming from a Brazilian art collector. He says the painting was stolen from him. That's right, Devin, but if you go into the exhibit and you see the painting, it says that it is there on loan from a private collector in Brazil. Let me show you all the legal controversy over this painted lady and all the international intrigue it has engendered. In French, she's called Les Eus de Roman. In English, she's either referred to as the novel reader or the reading lady. And Brazilian art collector Gustavo Soder, in his filings in federal court here in Detroit, says she was stolen from him. The exhibit of over 70 works from Van Gogh was drawing massive crowds before all this started up. And now, people are curious. And yes. here's, oh yeah. my God, I was looking it up the other day. You know, this is really, a once in a lifetime opportunity, so I kind of do. <laughs> the museum is now stuck in the middle between Gustavo Soder and the collection it was borrowed from, only described as a private collector in Sao Paulo, Brazil. The museum's position is we can't be forced to turn over anything because federal law protects and grants immunity to foreign artworks on display in the U.S. One thing is for sure, the Van Gogh in America exhibit has been a big hit, drawing record crowds. Does it amaze you that we have access to all these paintings in one oh, locale? Like that we don't have yeah, to go the to the best part. We don't have to go yeah. to the Musée no. d'Orsay in Paris or to Amsterdam no, or no. It, we it it's it but it was really fabulous to have it so was. much here. But now the real question is: the ballpark on what the reading lady costs is about five million dollars. Are you willing to pony that up? <laughs> Yes, out of my petty cash. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only if it's a buy one, get one free. <laughs> what would be your, which would be the one you'd want for free? Then I want to take Starry Night with me. Back here live, I'd take Starry Night with me too. I think that sounds fabulous. Uh, this goes to federal court in Detroit tomorrow. We'll see what the judge says and whether she's going to get taken off the wall at the DIA and back to the collector who says that she was stolen from him. And if you are interested in seeing the Van Gogh in America, it runs through Monday. The museum has actually extended its hours because of the interest in this exhibit. And there are a handful of tickets available on two days. We're live at the DIA. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. It, it's been nuts, Mara. It's been the art world's version of a Taylor <laughs> Swift uh, concert. But the funny thing, I mean, <laughs> it, as if this thing needed any more adrenaline, and now the intrigue over this painting is kind of, you know, goosed it one more time. Well, it was interesting, Devin, when we were outside the museum today, we ran into a couple who said, well, this is our second time coming to see the exhibit before it leaves. I said, <laughs> I said, you know, why? And they said, well, you know, this is kind of getting a little more exciting. I mean, not that it wasn't exciting <laughs> yes. before, but now there's yes. this whole specter of, you know, was it stolen? Do you have competing collectors in Brazil? What's the judge going to do? Um, I'm sure you've been. I've been. Yeah. It's uh, it's a great exhibit. It, it, it's absolutely amazing. By the way, the record that I heard from the curator is she met somebody who has seen it, been there 15 times through. So they've got a little ways to go if they're going to top that from their two <laughs> visits. <laughs> I love it. All right, Mara.